Schmidt has said that he will only prosecute protesters who are charged with more serious crimes like assault or arson. And last week, his office told us how many cases they are actually pursuing. Of the 896 cases that police had sent to them, they're currently pursuing 121 of them. They prioritize violent crimes involving assault or property damage. Now keep this in mind, okay? Even if they wanted to prosecute all 896 cases, that would be absolutely impossible for this DA or any other DA to do. Uh, the, it's just too many people. Schmidt's policy is not popular, though, with the police department regardless. They want him to be more aggressive, and that tension led to an extraordinarily intense meeting between Schmidt and the Portland Police Union President Daryl Turner earlier this month. Now, last week during my interview with Schmidt, I asked him about what was said. How, what happened in that situation? So I went to a, uh, a roll call uh, with um, the officers that have been on the, the lines night after night. And, uh, you know, it was a pretty uh, tense conversation. Um, they, as you said in your question, you know, they were voicing their displeasure with my policy and the way that I've approached this issue. And they were asking me questions. Um, some of them voiced it a little bit more vociferously uh, than others. Others, uh, other officers in the crowd, though, were, you know, very polite and said, hey, I appreciate you being here, willing to talk to us. We just want you to hear what what we're going through. And so, you know, there were aspects that um, I think was less productive, uh, you know, talking about Antifa or George Soros. Uh, but there were also aspects that I thought were very productive uh, in the conversation. So it was a tense meeting and it, it's a tense situation. What does that tell you about your ability to meet eye to eye with these officers, though, or, or some of their leadership or to work with them? I mean, those are that's a, those are pretty dramatic accusations to make of a district attorney. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I think that we are in a moment that is dramatic uh, and where change is happening and change is always hard. Uh, and so, you know, this is a, a tough place uh, for me to start. Uh, no doubt about that. I think everybody knew going in that this was not going to be an easy uh, or enviable job to be taken over on August 1st. Uh, but we'll work through this. Uh, and they are professionals uh, and my office and I, we are professionals. Uh, and so we'll figure out how to go through and there will be more issues. And I think probably at the end of the day, you know, we're going to agree on a bunch of things. There are going to be some things we don't agree on and, uh, and we'll work together. But we do depend on each other. And it's important that we figure out how to uh, repair that relationship and move forward. Well, one of the most troubling parts about it is that later on in the article, it says that Daryl Turner denied saying that. So you have our district attorney and a law enforcement leader, and we have to accept the fact that one of them is lying to us. And that makes me feel uneasy. Makes me feel uneasy too, Dan. Uh, you know, uh, I stand by my statement, uh, and like I said, it was a tense meeting, and uh, tempers uh, could get were a little bit hot, and so things were said that maybe weren't intended to be said, uh, and uh, and we're just looking forward and moving on and, and trying to figure out, uh, you know, how do we get onto the next issues and, and work together. Schmidt and I talked for about a half an hour. The entire interview is up right now on the KGW YouTube channel. You can watch the whole thing if you'd like. And the reviews are already rolling in. Wendy Childs was happy with how I pressed him on his policy last week. Hey, Dan, thank you for asking him these questions. Finally, you're asking what most of us have been wondering. Another person tweeted, you should have been a cop because you seem aggravated with Schmidt's decision not to prosecute protesters accused of misdemeanors and blame the protesters for the cops' use of CS gas. You are so obvious. Hashtag bootlicker Dan can't make everybody happy.